Shortlisted for this year's International Oscar and currently in theaters from Germany, it's the Teacher's Lounge. I'm so glad we were talking about this because, Alonzo, I really want to talk through this with you. We are not going to spoil anything, but it's the kind of movie that you're going to want to have a conversation with people about afterward because it really evolves in ways that are provocative and thoughtful, and I think it leaves a lot open to, like, what would you do? What would you do? So, And and even what really happened. (laughs) And what really happened, right? We don't really know. So um, you got to subscribe because not all channels do important foreign language films like this and we always will it's really important to us and so we'd love to have you join us if that's important to you as well Spitzelung. Denunciation. Verleumdung. so the teacher's lounge is from director and co-writer ilker to talk it is about what happens when a new young teacher, she's like a, a math teacher and a PE teacher at this school. I think it's like a middle school and a high school. I think it's so, like but, six yeah. to 12th or whatever the equivalent is. In Germany, she's played by the brilliant Leonie Beanish. And she is young and optimistic and she's new there. And everyone really responds to her, both her colleagues and the kids alike. But then there are a few thefts that occur and some suspicion that arises among the students, among the staff. And so she decides to set up her laptop in the teacher's lounge to record what happens when she sets her jacket on the back of her her chair, just to see what happens. Does somebody come by? Will they take the money that she's left in there? And so what happens from that point on when the video reveals something and then the conversations that ensue and how that has reverberations throughout the school, not just in, among the teachers, but the kids and the parents. And you find yourself over the course of this film really questioning who to believe and questioning who your alliances are with. Because at first, she's so likable and she's so perky and she really gets through to these kids in ways that are innovative. And so, of course, you you believe her and you want her to have justice or whatever it is that she's seeking. But then as time goes on, it it changes. And I found myself as, as a parent myself sympathizing with the parents at times. Like, yeah, I want to know what's happening. Like, as, as like, why are you being evasive? Like, we need to know. We have the right to know. So I found it just endlessly riveting and so true. And I realized afterward, this whole thing takes place at school. Like, you never see her go home. You never true. see what her life is like. You never see if she has a partner, like a pet, but you, (laughs) you learn so much about all these characters from the way that they interact with each other, from the way that they react to larger events. And uh, I just found it so beautifully written and acted. It was fascinating. Yeah. It's one of those movies. that's really wonderfully squirmy because like the initial events don't necessarily seem like they're going to be catastrophic, but just, one thing happens and then another thing happens and then another thing happens and you're like, Oh no, wait, she, the, you know, and like, it, it's almost like a nightmare, like, you know, where, where, you know, you do something with good intentions or that, that you think is, is not going to be a big deal. And it suddenly just balloons into this like disastrous situation and everybody's got their own take on it and their interpretation of what you did or didn't do uh, or how you're handling the situation or whether you should be handling the situation. And uh, so, yeah, it just and and it, and it doesn't it doesn't lay it on thick, you know, like there's not like the score isn't telling you, no. blah, 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 you know, but you just you just these these conversations that, that all seem kind of, you know, banal in c- certain ways also like are loaded with these kind of accusations and cross accusations. And it's just it gets more and more uncomfortable in a way that's just fascinating because you don't know how it's going to turn out. And you're really not even entirely sure, like. Like you said, what are people's motivations? How did this whole thing get rolling? Who made the first mistake that got us to where we are now? Like, it's just this boulder that keeps rolling downhill and, 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 you know, gaining speed. Uh, So yeah, I I really enjoy this film, but it is, you will, you will flinch a lot while watching it. Yeah. And, and, and the way it's shot too, it's, it's really understated, but it it Mm -hmm. puts you in this place that is like, 
so bland. You know, the school itself is it's a pretty school, kind of modern, but yeah. like the teachers' lounges, it's a, it's not a sexy, stylish place. Like, and you feel like you were among these people with yeah. all, and they all have their own little petty grievances and things that they're fighting for. You know, and they've all known each other for years. And at first, like it's exciting to have a young new teacher in there, but then they begin to suspect her, and like all that goodwill really flips in an instant. And yeah. like long takes, like down hallways and following her as she's following kids and and uh and you just you feel like you are in the middle of it and like there's nowhere to go like it barely even goes outside like sometimes they'll go out into the yard well there's one (laughs) there's there's one sort of foot chase that happens yeah that's that's the extent of it yeah it's kind of like kafka's abbott elementary (laughs) (laughs) yeah Really well done. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> and so there's so much I want to say that I can't say. I know. Yeah. So but maybe but, kind of a short review. <laughs> but absolutely. You can have like, I heard there was, you know, I, I, I went and saw it this weekend in Burbank and I heard a couple as they were leaving and the girl said to the guy, I don't think that ending was very good. And I just thought, did you not? Yeah, and I just like you didn't get it. You didn't get it, you know. Yeah. And, and so I, that was like I wanted to take the two of them and like some other people and all like have a huddle afterwards and be like, okay, what do we think this means? And who's actually, you know, because yeah, there's a lot happening here. And and I'm to this day, I've been thinking about this movie for days, mm-hmm. and I'm still not entirely sure what our takeaway is supposed to be and that's exciting yes well if you guys have seen the teacher's lounge and you have some thoughts and you want to share them in the the comments like make sure you flag them as spoilers let's yes, have please. that conversation because <laughs> um this movie is it's out there it's been out for like a month or so and it's it like trickling a, out i think it had like a quick awards run uh toward the end of the year and now it's sort of its actual release that's going out and it's i don't know if it's in a ton of cities yet but it will be making its way out to you obviously particularly if it gets uh Uh, If it does land uh, as one of the five uh, Oscar uh, Best International nominees, then you'll absolutely be seeing it. But it's Sony Classic, so, you know, it's going to get it's going to, you know, get some traction out there. Yes, for sure. And then like later on this week, we're going to be reviewing Fallen Leaves, yes, which I'm excited about, and also Monster, which I'm excited about. So we have all kinds of work. We're playing catch up now that things are calming down in January with a lot of the important foreign language films that we've wanted to see and hopefully you've wanted to see and you guys have been good about making requests of us. And we like to honor those requests when we can. So Alonzo, what is your number then on the Teacher's Lounge? Is that like a nine? I think mm-hmm. it's just really effective and just kind of very, it, before I even knew it, I was in its spell and and mm-hmm. locked in, you know? Yeah, 9.2 just for the, the writing and for the performances. And it's just, it does what it does. It's so delicate and so tense. And so like every note is perfect. So if you've seen the teacher's lounge, let us know what you think, what's really happening here.